Welcome back to Beverly Hills. Now, today's house is a very, very, very special house. They're all very special houses. Why is this one special? 9463 Sunset Boulevard. Just to give you perspective, the Beverly Hills Hotel is right there. Rodeo Drive is right there, walking distance. And it's on the market today for $29 million. The house needs renovation on the inside significantly, but if it had that renovation, oh my God, what a home. The house is clocking in at 7,000 square feet, six bedrooms, five bathrooms with a killer guest house, killer backyard, but it's the land. I'm on a full acre and a half right here in prime 90210. And we're gonna go inside and walk through it together right now. One of the most remarkable things about this property is of course the grounds. They are literally park-like. And they frame this exquisite English manor house that's in the middle of Beverly Hills. I love these sculpted angels that are on the patio in front of this exquisite grand front entrance, which is complete with this gorgeous wrought iron gate. In fact, this home reminds me in many ways of the high school that I attended whilst I was back in England. As I enter the home, I'm met by the grand foyer, which is this epic open space in the heart of the home. For this part of the tour, I want to focus on the exterior. So as I leave the rear of the manor house, I'm met by this epic landscape, which includes an absolutely phenomenal guest house, but then this endless stretch of lawn, which is something that's so hard to come by. I can just imagine kids kicking a ball around here and the endless parties on this 1.5 acres. Off to the side of the epic lawn is this marvelous swimming pool. This is a total Beverly Hills moment where I can imagine the former owner who is the chairman of Warner Brothers discussing movies, scripts, movie stars, and other things to do with the silver screen. Just to the north of the pool is this grand two bedroom guest house, which echoes the architecture of the original English manor house. Another thing to note is even though we don't have that much bad weather, the original architect decided to put these oak clad walkways with stone clad walls, which is just a delicious touch. In the middle of the rear grounds is this adorable picnic table, which I'm sure has many a story to go with it. I am in awe of this property. Of course, the grounds, the traditional design, and I hope the new buyer restores it to its former glory to become, once again, one of the premier estates in Beverly Hills. We continue the tour by going back through the grand foyer, which leads us to the formal living room. As I've mentioned, this house will need some restoration to bring it back to its former glory, but I couldn't help but note so much of the original detail, such as these oak paneled walls. And in addition, the oak floor with the seams and the craftsmanship that ties into the fireplace perfectly. And of course, a hand carved fireplace to boot. As we leave the grand old living room, we go across the foyer to the formal dining room. I notice the original chandelier remains in place, which is a really nice touch, and the whole room is flooded by light with these floor-to-ceiling original windows. Next to the dining room is this extra special breakfast nook. The wallpaper is exquisite, and to be honest, I would have no problem using that in one of my designs today. And I think this room is absolutely adorable. We traverse through the breakfast nook into the oversized kitchen. This kitchen almost feels like a commercial kitchen. It's that large. Now it's not been updated in many years, but I'm sure the new owners will have no problem installing a wonderful contemporary kitchen in this space. I do like this touch. This is left over from yesteryear. This is indeed a wood burning stove, perhaps for something extra special like a Sunday roast or even Christmas dinner. Some of the things that I adore about this home are the details. The finished carpentry in some areas of the home is spectacular. 
the way that this staircase just gently turns on the banister and leads you to the upper level with that wonderful curve in the ceiling to invite you to go upstairs to the sleeping quarters. We begin the upper journey by entering the owner suite and I can imagine once upon a time this room must have been filled with the most wonderful things. The light floods in from the south and I can only imagine the former owner standing right where I am, gazing across his park-like grounds. The closets are another example of fine finished carpentry. I love the quality of these cabinets and I'm sure this dressing area has more than one or two stories revolving around Oscar Knight. The bathroom for sure needs some reimagining, but it's a pretty epic size and could work perfectly in the ensemble of the owner's suite. A short walk across the hall and I enter this adorable guest suite with sculpted ceilings very reminiscent of so many homes in the UK. Of course, the highlight is to gaze across those park-like grounds. The bathroom for this suite actually retained many of the original fixtures, including this pink ceramic tile, which is so reminiscent of homes of this era in Los Angeles. As we head back downstairs into the grand foyer, we are led into a magnificent English bar. I can imagine myself having a pint with the lads, watching the football on the telly, and just loving life. This is a wonderful spot. As I end the tour, I notice the wood panel detailing in the ceiling one more time that lead me into this rear family room with epic light that of course lead out to the wonderful grounds. So that's it ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me at this very British house at 9463 Sunset Boulevard in the beating heart of Beverly Hills. Until the next one, this is Pete Lorimer signing out and I'll see you later.